The man with the silver is 560, Lou Lynch. Who do you want to Give him a round of applause. So there's his trophy. Luke, just come and join us here so uh, everybody can see. Let's have a quick word with you. Starting position, a third place finish with just the one stoppage. Please with that. Yeah, obviously, I was hoping I'd get more going on with the front two, but I think obviously these two are going to make it. Chris, I want to obviously get away from me and uh, yeah, but I was hoping to get more points and catch up with it. <laughs> a pleasing result. Yeah, really. Well done. Our runner up from over there in the Netherlands and uh, a brilliant result. He gave his best in a, uh, an observing world. In that world championship. One, two, four, win pieces. And uh, I don't know whether to say well done or hard luck because you played your part. You, you saw an opportunity about five laps to go down there and tried but didn't quite work. Yeah, I was, uh, I was trying to hit him, but the, the car got going through the inside. And yeah, that was um, But the car was going really well and. Uh, a really good race here. Yeah, the car was uh, really good and uh, yeah, I was happy, but uh, yeah, not happy with second place. Well, no, but I, I must say you and uh, of course the other drivers from the Netherlands, in the current times that we're in, uh, with the, the pandemic and everything else, for you to be over here, I cannot thank you enough. Uh, I'm sure everybody would like to thank all our Dutch drivers for being over and making it a world final in these difficult times. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Well, there we go, so uh, full credit to them because it's not been easy to try and get themselves here for the World Championship. Back in 2002, I was up there at the race wall when this young man took the gold. And he was only a young man and I think it was a bit of a blur and he couldn't really absorb what he achieved. 19 years later, he definitely knows now after years of trying to get that gold route back on the 647 car. A fantastic drive, the support says it all. A very popular winner because you Brisker, former two stop car, champion of the world, Chris Perrault. with a trophy somehow so is it soaking in yet what you've uh, what you've just achieved I can't argue the first one was a bit of a blur was a bit young could you understand it but this one I just feel so real man you're going to enjoy it with the family I'm going to enjoy the rest of the night and hope we'll get the car set we'll get a check over we'll get the speed engine in we'll come back tomorrow got Nick down to help us get a bit of gold paint for tomorrow ah we'll see what we can do eh? why not right let's load you up here go on the steps second <laughs> the world's Chris Bergoy, now retiring from the meeting uh, for post-race checks. So it's going to be 12 going through to the meeting final. So uh, give you the top 13 therefore. So first was 647 Chris Bergoy, second 1241 one, Peters and third 560 Luke Wrench. Fourth was 226 Billy Webster. Fifth was NI747 Bradley McKinstry. Sixth, the outgoing champion, number seven, Gordon Moody. Seventh, 801, Jack Kay. Eighth, B96, Jan Beckers. Ninth, in the top ten, for the Bagoy family, 674, Stephen Bagoy. 
10th, 998, Graham Fagan. In 11th was 16, Craig Wallace. 12th was 38, Dave Pauly. And 13th was 968, Mickey Brennan. So Chris McGoy retires from the meeting, but the other 12 cars behind will go through to the meeting final. Your race numbers only 